they could climb 80,000 feet, outrun missiles at over 2,000 miles per hour, and cross continents in under two hours. These are the 10 fastest military aircraft ever built, and their speed will blow your mind. At number 10, we have a jet that looked like it was built to pierce the sky itself, the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter. Originating from the United States in the 1950s, it was designed as a pure interceptor during the Cold War. At 54 feet 8 inches long, it had razor-thin wings and a shape that earned it the nickname, the missile with a man in it. Powered by the General Electric J-79 engine, it could reach a top speed of 1,320 miles per hour and fly up to 1,630 miles without refueling. Its payload capacity was 4,000 pounds, enough for missiles or bombs. The F-104 broke multiple speed and altitude records in its day, climbing to extreme heights faster than most jets could dream. With a unit cost of $1.42 million and 2,578 built, it served with multiple NATO countries. However, it had a reputation for being difficult to handle, making it one of the most dangerous yet thrilling aircraft to fly. Coming in at number 9 is Britain's Speed Demon, the English Electric Lightning. This interceptor, developed in the United Kingdom during the Cold War, was one of the few British jets to reach Mach 2 speeds. Measuring 55 feet 3 inches in length, it featured a unique engine design with two jet engines stacked vertically inside the fuselage. This gave it unmatched climb performance, reaching 36,000 feet in under 3 minutes, with a top speed of 1,500 miles per hour and a range of 849 miles. It was built to defend Britain's skies from Soviet bombers. The Lightning could carry up to 3,000 pounds of weapons, including missiles and guns. At an estimated cost of $3 million each, only 337 were built. While its speed and acceleration were unmatched, its short range often meant it needed in-flight refueling for long missions. It remained in service for nearly three decades, becoming a legend of British aviation. Number 8 takes us back to the United States with the Convair F-106 Delta Dart, known as the Ultimate Interceptor. Built to protect American airspace from Soviet bombers, this fighter interceptor was 70 feet 8 inches long and had a sleek delta wing for stability at high speeds. It could reach 1,525 miles per hour and fly up to 2,700 miles without stopping. With a payload of 2,000 pounds, it could carry air-to-air -air missiles and even the AIR-2 Genie nuclear rocket. The F-106 was powered by a single Pratt & Whitney J-75 engine, giving it incredible acceleration. It also featured the advanced MA-1 fire control system, one of the first computer-assisted targeting systems in a fighter jet. Estimated at $5 million per unit, 342 were built, serving well into the 1980s with the Air National Guard. It holds the official speed record for single-engine jets, proving why it earned the title of ultimate interceptor. Number 7 roars in with wings that could change shape in mid-flight, the legendary Grumman F-14 Tomcat. Originating from the United States, this 62-foot, 9-inch long fighter was an interceptor, air superiority fighter, and multi-role platform all in one. With a top speed of 1,544 miles per hour and a maximum range of 1,800 miles, it could strike far and fast. The F-14 had a huge payload capacity of 14,800 pounds, carrying everything from Sidewinder missiles to the long-range AIM-54 Phoenix, which could hit targets over 100 miles away. Its unique swing-wing design allowed the wings to sweep back for high-speed flight or extend for slower carrier landings. At a cost of $38 million each, 712 were built between 1969 and 1991. The Tomcat protected U.S. aircraft carriers for decades, gaining worldwide fame through real missions and blockbuster movies like Top Gun. At number 6, we have a jet built to scare even the best U.S. pilots, the Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker. Measuring 71 feet 10 inches, this multi-role and air superiority fighter was built for long-range missions and powerful dogfighting. Its twin AL-31F engines pushed it to 1,553 miles per hour, and it could fly 2,190 miles without refueling. The Su-27 carried an impressive 17,637 pounds of weapons, including missiles, bombs, and a powerful 30-millimeter cannon. Costing around $40 million, 680 units were built, and many still serve today. Known for unmatched agility, 
it could perform extreme maneuvers like the Pugachev Cobra, flipping nose up in mid-air to outsmart opponents. The flanker was a major export success, influencing fighter designs in countries like China and India. Number 5, flies in as a master of speed and stealthy, low-level strikes. The General Dynamics F-11 Aardvark From the United States, this 73-foot 6-inch aircraft was both an attack aircraft and a strategic bomber. With a top speed of 1,650 miles per hour and a massive range of 3,690 miles, it could strike deep into enemy territory. Its swing-wing design gave it the versatility to cruise at low speeds or dash at supersonic velocity. The Aardvark had a staggering payload of 31,500 pounds, allowing it to carry nuclear or conventional bombs, guided missiles, and more. Priced at $10.3 million per unit, 563 were built. It also featured advanced terrain-following radar, enabling it to fly at low altitudes under enemy radar. The F-111 was a game-changer for both the U.S. Air Force and the Royal Australian Air Force, serving for decades in multiple combat roles. Number 4 storms in with an undefeated record, the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. Born in the United States as a pure air superiority fighter, this 63-foot 9-inch jet was designed to win every single dogfight. With a blistering top speed of 1,875 miles per hour and a maximum range of 3,500 miles, the F-15 could dominate the skies far from home and still have the fuel to return. Its payload capacity of 16,000 pounds meant it could carry a wide range of weapons, from heat-seeking sidewinders to long-range AMRAAM missiles and precision-guided bombs. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-100 engines, it had a thrust-to-weight ratio so powerful it could accelerate straight up into the sky. At a unit cost of $28 million, 1,198 were built. The Eagle has been continuously upgraded with advanced radar, avionics, and weapon systems, making it one of the longest-serving fighters in history. Over decades of service, it achieved more than 100 confirmed aerial victories without a single combat loss, a record unmatched in modern air combat. At number 3, we have a high-speed hunter built for the vast skies of Russia, the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-31 Foxhound. Measuring 74 feet 3 inches, this interceptor and strike fighter was built for extreme range and endurance, able to fly 3,400 miles without refueling. With a maximum speed of 1,865 miles per hour and a payload of 20,000 pounds, it could carry heavy missiles capable of intercepting bombers and cruise missiles long before they reached their targets. Built to operate in freezing Arctic conditions, the MiG-31 was the first Soviet fighter equipped with a phased array radar, giving it the ability to track multiple targets at the same time. At an estimated cost of $50 million each, 519 were built. Its powerful D-30 F-6 turbofan engines allow it to sustain near Mach 3 speeds for extended periods, a rare ability among jet fighters. Even today, it remains a cornerstone of Russia's long-range air defense, patrolling massive borders that no other aircraft could cover as quickly. Number 2 blasts in as one of the fastest jets ever built, the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat. At 78 feet 2 inches long, this interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft was developed to counter high-speed threats like the SR-71 and the XB-70. With a staggering top speed of 2,190 miles per hour, it was one of the few aircraft capable of matching the fastest jets in history. It had a range of 1,600 miles and could carry a payload of 8,818 pounds, usually made up of missiles or specialized reconnaissance gear. Built mostly from stainless steel to withstand the extreme heat generated at Mach 3, the MiG-25 was fast, but not highly maneuverable. At an estimated $30 million each, 1,186 were built and exported to multiple allied nations. It set altitude and speed records that still stand today, and during its service in the Cold War, it caused major concern for NATO, forcing rapid advancements in Western interceptor technology. Finally, at number one, we reach the king of speed, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. This US-built strategic reconnaissance aircraft stretched 107 feet 5 inches in length and could fly faster than any other manned air-breathing jet in history, reaching an astonishing 2,193 miles per hour with ease. Its range of 3,250 miles meant it could cross entire continents in just a few hours, gathering intelligence in hostile territory and escaping before the enemy could react. The Blackbird's payload of 3,500 pounds was dedicated entirely to advanced cameras, sensors, and electronic surveillance gear, rather than weapons. 
because its mission was to observe, not to attack. Built almost entirely from titanium, it was engineered to survive the intense heat generated at Mach 3 Plus without bending, melting, or losing aerodynamic stability. Powered by the revolutionary Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, it could even outrun surface-to-air missiles, simply accelerating beyond their reach, a feat no other operational aircraft has matched. At $34 million per unit, only 32 were ever built, but each was a technological marvel that pushed the boundaries of aviation. In service from 1966 to 1998, it flew missions that remain classified to this day, leaving behind a legacy of speed, stealth, and mystery. The SR-71 still holds the official world records for both speed and altitude, making it not just the fastest jet ever built, but a true icon of military history. These jets weren't just fast. They tore through the sky at over 2,000 miles per hour, climbed to heights where the air was razor thin, and outran missiles that were designed to destroy them. They redefined air combat, reconnaissance, and interception, proving that speed could be the ultimate weapon. Every one of them pushed the limits of human engineering, from the first bolt tightened in the factory to the final mission in hostile airspace. Their records, in speed, altitude, and endurance, still stand as untouchable benchmarks inspiring every fighter and reconnaissance jet built since. Subscribe for more jaw-dropping military aviation stories like this video, share it with fellow aircraft fanatics, and comment which of these legendary war machines you think truly deserves the crown as the fastest ever built, and why.